Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Crafters TV. It is Monday. Uh, it's Monday afternoon uh, here in the UK, which means, of course, it is time for Monday Makers, uh, where we get a bit, I guess, a little bit more in depth is what Monday Makers is uh, all about. It's not just for our advanced crafters. I wouldn't call it that. Uh, everyone can learn something uh, from all of our shows. Absolutely. Uh, but Monday Makers is how we like uh, to uh, do uh, things now. I, <laughs> I've made a great start because I have got the notes from uh, the earlier Masterclass show. Uh, so I'm having a very Monday. I'm having a very Monday Monday, uh, Fiona. Are you a very Fiona's Monday, here Monday. to save me. Look, my, they're just over there, Fiona. So we'll say hello to Fiona, and I'll go hello. run and get them. Hello. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do whilst Joe's getting himself sorted out from his Monday Monday. I'm going to show you some samples from this fantastic collection. Now I think this woodland nature's garden woodland collection, which we've got coming up in this show, is absolutely perfect. It doesn't matter whether you're an advanced crafter or a beginner crafter because the kit itself covers everyone you've got beautiful papers in there you've got fantastic vellums you've got toppers that you can just pop out and use straight away and you can be building these with your embossing potters look at that isn't that cute if you know people who are into bunny rabbits this is a fabulous collection to have and you know everybody's a lot more aware of nature these days aren't they so it's one of those collections that I think you can use for any occasion look straight out of the packet you could be making cards like that isn't mm. it fantastic oh, they really are fabulous uh, it's been so popular that nature's garden collection uh, since we launched it got the right ones now look, i know hey uh, loads of you saying hello to us already uh, remember you can get in touch in all the usual ways crafters tv uh, over on facebook is how you stay in touch drop into the comments on that page or search crafters companion over on YouTube and you can get in touch with us there. Georgiane is saying uh, hello, she's saying hi Joe and Fiona from Clearwater. Fran's here from Florida, I can see Valerie in California. She put a big sun emoji uh, as well. Oh, we are jealous. Uh, Danette's in uh, Arkansas. Sally saying hi from Devon. Teresa's in uh, Virginia. And Brigitte in the Netherlands. We are truly international uh, this Monday afternoon here at Crafters TV. Now, Monday Makers means as well uh, that we always bring to you or try to a uh, craft ambassador one of our lovely crafters that comes and join us for the whole show and i'm pleased to say uh, that this week uh, we've got the lovely karen on the line uh, karen how are you hi i'm fine thank you how are you joe i uh, really a uh, really really good thank you so glad that you uh, have uh, come to join us and uh, now i know we're going to be speaking to you a little bit later in the show but for anyone that doesn't know you what's your name where'd you come from and how long you've been crafting my name's Karen. Um, I live in Crosby near Liverpool and I've been crafting for about seven and a half years now. Oh, it sounds exciting, Karen. I can't wait to uh, get to know you more as we go through the show. If anyone's got any questions for Karen, anyone knows Karen, what's going to do her some encouraging words? <laughs> yeah. Then absolutely. Uh, get those into us. Karen, you stay on the line. We'll be coming back to you very, very shortly. But before we do that, uh, I'd love to share with you some of the stuff that's coming up in this show uh, today. There is an awesome amount uh, of products in here. A little bit of a sort of mixed bag. We've got a good selection of different things. Uh, the Nature's Garden Woodland Friends Complete Collection is what you are looking at first with 107 elements 98 pounds or 128 dollars there uh, 7840 or 10240 as a club inspire platinum member everyone's going to get free shipping and handling and free postage and packaging on that which is fantastic and you've got a great deal on that it's the best ever deal i believe on our um woodland friends nature's garden collection so do snap that up one thing that's not in that collection is this we don't have anywhere near as many of this. If you want this stamp set, uh, it's available individually only, $7.99 or $9.95. Uh, you can, of course, get that separately. I'll pop that in the basket with that big collection. Mm. We just have a lot less of that than we did of, of the bigger collection, so we've split that out. Now, we've also got the... Monday Mega Deal! Absolutely, we have. <laughs> uh, 26 pounds or $35. I remember that from last night. It made me laugh so much. <laughs> it's the rotating design board uh, for stamping. Uh, and colouring collection so you're going to get one of the mats there uh, you're also going to get the ink pad in there uh, and you're going to get the rotating design board as well I'm not going to tell you about the next one Fiona's going to tell you about it because it's Fiona's star buy yeah absolutely it is what you've got here are 36 of our premium top of the range illustrator pens and what you'll see is you've basically got 12 colour families so you get a light medium and dark in all those colour families be they dark green be they coral be they um your dark red
red, your true blues, your purples, your pale pinks, your bright pinks. Absolutely stunning. It's a great way if you're just stepping in, this is a great way to get your collection started. And of course, they're going to work with all the other alcohol pens from Tri Blend right the way up. So it's a great addition. And look, Joe, I, oh, I hate to price. say it, but look. <gasps> The look, price. look, look, just over two, two pounds a pen. I know. No, less Amazing. than that. Amazing. Less Amazing than value. that. Less than two pounds a pen. Wow. Unheard of with our illustrators. Club Inspired Platinum members as well. 50 99 or 81 56 which is fabulous value. Uh, and uh, you've also, Fiona's also organised somewhere to put them for you as well. Oh, now, I, it, maybe I was slow to the party, but this is fantastic. This is a 72-piece pen pen bag but it's not the big long tri-blend ones it's been designed specifically for the illustrators and when we come to come over to me for a demonstration i will show you around this because it's a fab little case it really is if you haven't got it grab one because they're absolutely. brilliant absolutely uh, yeah and it's uh 29.99 or 39.95 if you want to get it uh, on its own we've also got the get it uh deal for you as well of the week this is awesome uh in here you've got foam pads You've also got uh, the all-purpose glue. Uh, you've got the 12mm red liner tape as well. And you've got both of those tape pens. Uh, you've got the extra strong one. And you've got the dotty one as well, £23 or $39. Um, right, Fiona, I believe we're going to dive yes. right into a demonstration. What I would say is, have you got any pictures of anything in the show? Specifically, I know so many of you have got uh, the Woodland Friends Nature's Garden Collection. Please send me in those pictures. And you can do that by emailing me studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. If we've got any new people in today, I'd love to hear from you uh, as well. Say hello, give me a wave, drop into the comments on Crafters TV, uh, or of course, um, search for us on YouTube. Uh, what I would say is as well, if at any point you want to order anything, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Details are bloop, bloop, down there in the corner of the screen. Uh, and also, it's always worth as well, at the start of every show, good practice, let's say, to go over there, click the Shop the Show button and just look at everything that's in the show. Because there will be lots of obscure random things that are in this show that are on a great deal that we might not even get to show you. So always make sure uh, you shop the show uh, at the start of every show so you know exactly what is coming up. Right, Fiona, I think right. this is the first time we've done this together, this collection, isn't it? I think it is. I mm. think it is. It is a, it is a particular favourite of mine. Now, I know because I popped in to see Craig this morning, so I know that um, Jacqueline and Nora and Melanie and June were saying they've already got this collection. Fantastic. So ladies, if you've already made something with it, I would love to see pictures because take a look at the kinds of things you could be making. You could be making beautiful, beautiful easel cards which look just like this, which is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> or maybe, <laughs> look at this, you know, for the for the fan of bunny rabbits in your family, that is just a lovely card. And doesn't that folder make a sensational border? Or maybe you can it's a little deer. Oh, not this collection. Beautiful. But look, there you go. Isn't that just stunning? And this has got to be one of my favourite images of all times. I think that owl is absolutely delightful. And look at this. Just a simple trifold oh, card. Oh, nice. But isn't that... You're a hoot. Just, you're a hoot. <laughs> of course. So I thought without further ado, what we'll do is we'll dive straight in. And I'm going to use these to make a box. And I will show you. Look at me trying to be all tidy. This won't last. <laughs> this is the one I'm going to make. Now, I am using Mr. Fox right on the front, as you can see there. I love so that So if you're going for this collection... Do grab this stamp set because he is just delightful, is he not? He really, Absolutely really is. Absolutely stunning. Uh, really and that's is. that extra. I'll give you the details of that one again. Let you know it's the Woodland Animals uh, is the one. Uh, it's that stamp set there. It's not in the main collection. So if you are going for the main collection, make sure you're popping uh, that Woodland Animals one into your basket as well. Seven ninety nine or nine ninety five. You could be going for that one on its own if you want to. You know, every single element uh, of this collection will work together and will work separately for you as well, and it will play beautifully with other Nature's Garden collections that we also have uh, too. So make sure you get that one popped in your basket. Okay, so what you might have heard going on in the background was me popping the embossing folder, which comes in the collection through the, min, through the 
through the through the machine now this is embossed beautifully this is white card so hopefully you've just the, there you are and i'm just going to pop some ink on that so you can see because it is gorgeous just stunning it's what sort such, of card stock is that you've popped through there that stamping card you know it is one of my go-to card stocks which you will find on the website but because this is that frame style what you will find is that you can use this you could just ink around this now i'm using our water reactive ink pads i'm using the grasshopper if anybody's wanting to know which colors it is and so i'm just going to ink around this but look how it brings out that incredible detail you Gorgeous. know you could trim this down stamp sentiment in the middle and that would be a card front look at that that would be a card front right away look awesome. isn't that gorgeous really lovely maybe so even a nice pretty. maybe even a nice you want to fussy cut around that or use uh, an nesting die you could actually put a photo behind that and look definitely. beautifully framed wouldn't it definitely yeah nesting die out of the out of the middle it'd be perfect joe mm. right okay so next thing i'm going to do is i am going to stamp my little fox so in what we've got on the show today is we've got a lovely little collection and it comes with the rotating board and you get an ink pad and you get one of our non-stick craft sheets it is worth thinking about because the ink pad which is in it i'm pretty sure is a finesse one a which is great it's an alcohol proof one i'm pretty sure but saying that now i can't i could be i could be uh fibbing <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a look in a minute we'll see how it works but, out eh? <laughs> yeah absolutely so here we go so there is mr fox that is beautiful isn't it the nice thing about these alcohol ink pads is they're ready to go straight away they really are nice and easy and ready to draw now just need to grab another piece of card to lean on now i did say i would show you my case and my pens Ooh, yes. and i'm going to do that right now so this is the pen set which holds the 72 pens now it's not the big tall 72 which holds the tribal ends this is the smaller 72 which holds the classics or the illustrators your but aqua markers would go in here i'd imagine as well aqua markers go in here beautifully so you get a handle which you can clip on and off as you can see just comes here so if you don't want the handle take it off and then you've just got your case You've also got a nice strong handle on here with the webbing really beautifully constructed. In the back here, you have got a pocket and in the back there, I've got another set of pens. I've got my, my, another set of little boards in there for the other pens. Now, that is going to pop there. Now, this is how it works. It's all Velcro. So if I hold that, you can oh, see. Awesome. That looks good. But you can undo the sides and just ah. move, and then you can have look at this all of your pens ready to go isn't that beautiful fantastic isn't and it? the 36 pens which are coming in that box are these three rows that you can see here Fabulous. so i've basically what i've got in here is i've got my 36 pens and then i've got my sets of four do you in think there that as the well. 36 then that you get included, yeah. uh, are they going to give you the ability to do a good range of projects, yeah, styles of projects? Absolutely, because if you have a look, and I'm just going to hold this so you can see, can you see it goes from the gold yellow, so you've got three gold yellow, so you can do your perfect blend, you've got three just here, which is your coral red, then you've got your three dark red, I've got my three green there, my true blues just down here, just above my finger, that you can see there and then we move on you've got your pinks and your magentas and then underneath you've got your bright pinks you've also got your flesh tones you've got your earth brown tones and then you've got your essentials at the end which includes your black and your blender pen so it is a fantastic fantastic collection so what we're going to do is we are going to use that set of 36 to color our box Awesome. Uh, if you the illustrators across the bottom of your screen, I just said it was a fantastic price, less than two pounds a pen, uh, as Fiona highlighted earlier. However, as a platinum member, fifty pounds or eighty-one dollars is unbelievable value for money uh, to get your hands 
uh, on those. So uh, do grab those if you want them. If you've got them, and I'd love to know um, how you, um, I'd love to know uh, how you feel about them. Let me know in the comments. Well, we've got a new viewer as well, Barbara Rastovsky. Uh, says, oh. hi, I'm new to this program. Welcome to the family, hi. Uh, Barbara. Whereabouts, um, whereabouts are you? I'd love to know where you are in the world. Uh, so I've been looking uh, for a fun, crafty group. Well, let me tell you, uh, you have found it. Isn't that right, Fiona? It doesn't get funner than this. It doesn't indeed. It doesn't get funner than this. Uh, now, <laughs> it really is. So what, Barbara was her name, was it? Barbara, yeah. Barbara, hi. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into crafting or are you just enjoying the shows? Because it'd be good to know. Now, these are the pens. This is what you get on a, an illustrator. You get, whoops, didn't want to do that. Let's try putting the lid on and taking, there we go. Stronger than I think sometimes. Mm. You get a beautiful fine tip on that size, just there. And then you get that wonderful Japanese brush nib. Now the Japanese brush nib is perfect for doing flicks like this, which makes it fantastic for things, layering for things like hair and for doing fur as well. Because look how beautifully, beautifully fine you can get there. Isn't that lovely? It looks gorgeous. Really gorgeous. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just flicking my lightest colour to get him started. So uh, Leanne was telling me that the nib in this pen is actually worth, or a costs, I should say, more, the brush nib yeah. costs more to, than the whole of the rest of the pen combined to produce. That is the quality yeah. of the nib that you've got in here. It really is what sets it apart. If you go out there and look at the uh, market leader for pens of this type, you could be paying four to six pounds per pen yes. comfortably uh, to get this kind of quality. Have a look at what people are saying about the illustrators on our website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk. Uh, .eu. You can see uh, we've got independently reviewed, uh, independently verified reviews uh, there for you on the website. So go across there and have a look. Do you know, I'm making life well. awkward for myself because I'm busy trying to turn oh, this around. Oh, you've got the Monday and mega I've got deal. I've my rotating board here. And so I, I couldn't figure out why I was making such a meal of it. Uh, why so do you love I this? Realized. Why do you love this board so much, Fiona? Because you were raving about it this morning when yeah. you, uh, we were prepping. Because. What it does is it turns so you can, can carry on working at an angle which is comfortable for you without having to twist and turn and it is going to make all the difference. If you are new to colouring, this board really will make all the difference to your colouring results because look, if I want to just colour th this part of this fox and especially when you're colouring animals and you're colouring different shapes like this, you don't always want to be straight on so i'm making the board and the pen do the work rather than me having to contort my hand into strange and wonderful shapes can you see i mean he's absolutely delightful this fox he really is but you can see how i'm just putting a few flicks to show the shade on the fox isn't he coming together well Mm, really, it looks really well. And then I'm going to go in now. This is one of my goldy colours because foxes tend to be quite golden in colour, don't they? So I'm just going to start adding a few highlights into his fur. Look at this. I mean, it's just delicious, isn't it? <laughs> I was doing this uh, <laughs> collection recently with Debbie Fisher, and uh, <laughs> we ended up talking about the fact that she snores a bit like a fox. <laughs> really? Well, there you go, Debbie. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. If you're watching, Debbie, hello. Uh, sorry I've outed She'll you as being a snorer, you Debbie. She'll doing that. Uh, she really will love you for it. <laughs> we were talking her. about it on air last time she was here. Yeah. I wasn't going to talk about it, and then she started talking about it, so then I maybe embellished our conversation <laughs> slightly as well. I said, no, no, it was all true, but I mean, I wasn't going to talk about it, but then when she let me talk about it, I really spoke about it, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, enjoy, you enjoyed the journey, huh? I did indeed, absolutely. So look... Look how much easier it is when you're working on a board just to get all those flicks going in the right direction. It just makes life so much easier, doesn't it? It really does. So here we go. Just going to give him a bit of a, a glow as well going on there. There we go. A little bit of orange under there as well, just under his hand. And a little bit on I love it, Fiona. his tail. Isn't it just, I mean, that is just so easy 
to achieve, isn't it? I it's guess as well, what I love about it is when people do leave a lot of white space. I think some people sometimes are scared to leave lots of white space, Fiona, but it really makes a difference, isn't it? It really does. It really does. And I like mixing my, my colours. And I do, I do think if you've not invested in this board, where have you been? Yes. Really, it is that good. It is that good. Mm. It just makes life so much easier than having to twist around. And I'll tell you what, why <laughs> the, the camera folk here tend to like it is you stand half a chance of me keeping things in shot. <laughs> because otherwise I'm taking it out of shot, I'm moving it where I want it to be. And they sit there some days and go, really, Fiona? Just, just keep it, <laughs> just keep it. That Put looks, it in one plane, that, that would be so fine. That is so dimensional, that fox, it really does. Oh, and you also get as well the, um, the craft mat as well in the Monday Mix, and the alcohol proofiness. It impact. is so an alcohol it's proof a, one. It is an alcohol proof one, we got there. Good. Uh, it's uh, a really fantastic deal uh, there for you. £26 at all $35, so don't miss out on that. So look, so what I've used, I've, I have used all pens which are in that 36 collection. I used my earth browns, I used my golden yellows, and I used a little bit of my flesh tones. Doesn't he look just adorable? Amazing, absolutely How quick incredible. Is that? Right, I'm just gonna pop these away. No problem at all. And then I'm gonna put this box together. Awesome, uh, a lot of you chatting about that uh, rotating design board. Uh, Rebecca says, I got, um, uh, sorry, Shadai says, since I bought the board, I'm like you, Fiona, my hand never gets tired coloring. I even yeah. use it for my water coloring as well. Brilliant. Which is always good to know. Uh, Rebecca as well says, I got this collection when it first came out and just started playing with it uh, yesterday. I'm looking for some inspiration for masculine cards. There we go. Maybe Perfect. we'll, uh, hopefully we'll give you some of that inspiration. For uh, crafters, uh, what is the difference between uh, the illustrators and the classics is what Aisha wants to know. Fantastic. And do you know what I can show you? Because a picture is worth a thousand words, they it tell really me. It really is. So, in, by the way, this is the other bag which is on the show. This is a set of 24s. So, because I only had less of the 24s on my show tomorrow than I did on here. If I take any one of these out, so this is a classic. And the difference between the classic and the illustrator is one of the nibs. So on the classic, you get a chisel tip. Awesome. Now there, you can see it's just there. Brilliant. Now this is great if you want to lay down a lot of colour quickly, or maybe you want to colour a lot of areas, or maybe you know things like your manga drawing. You, you would do. You would use that. So your design concepts, those kind of designs they use this a lot but on your illustrators which is my star by today you get this most amazing brush nib now i need to tell you you could get brush nibs to fit your classics right but i to be fair i would go for your illustrators and you know the 36 is a lovely set to go for because you've got those different color families let me go through them again the colours that I you're can tell getting. how much you love these and specifically yeah. this set of them. Yeah, because it is one of those sets which is really going to bring things together. So we'll start here and I will try and break this into, into show. So this is your gold yellows. So you've got three, one, two, three there. So you've got your light, medium and dark blend there. Then you move into your corals i believe awesome. let me just yeah your coral your coral reds and again you've got your light medium and dark there then you move into your poppies which are dark reds got three there and then you've got your your dull greens and you've got a light medium and dark there you are also getting if i come to this range here well we'll start this end here okay so you have got your pale pinks there and you've got three there. Then you've got your pale violets, your purple violets. You get three there, your light, medium and dark. Then you're also getting a three range of your true blues. And then you've got your blue turquoises. So you can see you've got a beautiful range of families covered. You are also getting, if I go right here, you've got your bright pinks are in that box, your flesh colours. And again, you can see you've got your light, medium and dark flesh your earth browns that you've just seen me use. Then you've got your true black, your blue gray, and your um, two of your blue grays for your shade and tone in awesome. that. 
Isn't that lovely? A really lovely collection. I it think really if you were going to go for one collection that would allow, enable you to do a really broad range of different styles of projects, then uh, this would definitely be it. 6374 yes. if you're in the UK, 10195 in the US. Uh, we can take that price down though for Club Inspired Platinum members to 5099 or 8156. So a great price there uh, as well. Uh, if you're new to us, uh, we'll explain Club Inspire as we go uh, through the show for you as well. Um, but yes, I've done I don't know if we scared Barbara off, but she didn't come back to me, Fiona. Oh. I hope oh, you didn't Barbara, haven't scared you off, come Barbara. Back and say I didn't scare <laughs> you off. Uh, that Rebecca, wasn't my intention. <laughs> Rebecca Arnold says, hearing my name and comments being read out aloud just never gets old. Big smiley emojis, love heart emojis. Oh, oh bless. We love it when you get in touch with us. That's what it's all about. Uh, we love it. Uh, the more interactive these shows are, the better for us. Um, and we love it when you've got questions or um, as well. Um, do you know, any questions is always a fantastic one. That's something that I absolutely love because there's nothing better than being able to show people what it is. And sometimes it's just that nagging question which has been fossicking around in the back of your head. I mean, make keeping craft related. We're not, we're, not, we're not going to be offering any advice on, you know, the mysteries of the world or anything like that. But, you know, any we'll um, have a go some days. questions. <laughs> oh, Joe can take those. I'll, I'll take the craft ones and Joe can take the putting the world to um, rights ones. Well, we were asking about um, Barbara's craft journey, but lots of our other crafters are also yeah. sharing details of their craft journeys with us now. It's like, why don't we all do it? Let's all, let's all do yes. that. Because we're going to hear about Karen's crafty journey in a moment as well. Donna says, uh, I started making crafts at about six years old for my blind mum to feel and enjoy. How lovely is that? Oh, I'm 59 fantastic. now and almost have a crafter's companion store in my home. Barbara's back, guys. Oh, Call good. off the search party. You. Ring the Coast Guard. Call the police. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Barbara's here. She says, oh, you really did want to know. Yes, Barbara, of course <laughs> I did. That's why I asked you. I want to know about everyone that watches these shows. She says, I live in Portage, Indiana, USA. Been crafting for seven years. My mum got me started. Up to that point, my hobby had been computer programming. But um, then I got Ooh. a job doing it. Uh, so now it's crafting. Oh, well, Barbara, uh, it's really lovely uh, to have you with us in Portage, Indiana. Uh, I'm yeah. so glad that you found us. I hope that um, you'll continue to watch our shows uh, and uh, we'll get to know each other. Um, oh, Barbara's basically, well, I don't know how you feel about this, Fiona, because Barbara's mum insisted that a hobby can't be her job. Do you know, it is, it is tricky. It is <laughs> tricky. But what you, what you do is you, um, you find a way of finding new hobbies. So I do a lot of mixed media at home. And I will right. do a lot of a lot of different things as well. But then I do come back to things like colouring as well. So yes, yes and possibly. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, Cindy says I love the board too, it makes colouring so much better, especially when I colour in front of the TV. But that's a winning combination, the TV and a bit of colouring in, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, do you know what? It's one of those things that has to be done some days. And nobody can complain you're making a noise. If you're sat there just with your board and with yeah. a few bits and pieces, you're not getting in anybody's way. And when they're watching all the horror... I hate... Now, TV, Joe, right. do you ever watch horror, horror mm, type? Never. No, I Absolutely don't Absolutely never, either. ever, ever. I can't I like, them. Um, Too much of a scaredy cat, I me. love a good drama. Yes. Uh, I like a bit of RuPaul's Drag Race, won't lie. Uh, I yep. also maybe like, oh, I don't know. I quite like murder mysteries as well, but not 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 the made up ones. You know, the sort of Netflix, the the true true, true crime, crime. That's the one. Now you see, I quite I'm, I'm quite they they um, do things like um, Midsummer Murders, even though I've seen most of them. Father Brown, even though I've seen most of them. Um, uh, Broken Hill Mysteries, that's oh. an Australia, uh, New Zealand one, I think, yep. which I quite like as well. Broken Wood. That I watch. So, so, did you like like Jonathan Creek? Is that up your street? Love John. Yeah, yeah, I love Jonathan a bit of Jonathan Creek. Creek. Yeah, you it was very very good. You can't go wrong with a bit of Jonathan. Oh, I bet we've really got lots can't. of horror fans though in the uh, in the room. I, you know, I bet. I bet. I bet. Do you know? I think it is. I'm too much of a scaredy cat um, to do I that am. now. Do you know what it was though? When I lived in a house, I couldn't watch them, Fiona, because there was only one door between me and the outside world. And uh -huh. I was having a conversation with someone today. Now I've moved into an apartment, I've never felt safer because there are three iron electric gates between me and the outside <laughs> world. And then I've got a very heavy, solid uh, metal front door as well. So now I can watch what I want. If I hear a creak in the night, oh, it, I don't bat an eyelid now. Whereas normally I'd be up with a torch going around the house trying to see what the noise was. <laughs> 
So here we go. So you can see all I've done is I've used some of that beautiful paper pad. I'm going to hold this up oh so carefully because it's not quite dry yet. But I've used some of the big paper pad to do the edges. And on the top there you can see my fox is going to go walk about in a minute. So I'm holding this up a bit carefully. So I've got that wonderful folder, the fox, that beautiful mouse which is in there. So all the others are in that big collection stamped with the Just For You. Aren't they fun? Beautiful, really lovely, and I think Just a great fun. idea having uh, making a box out of it too. Uh, Marilyn says, I love that background, Fiona. Uh, Laura is saying, I started crafting when I was pregnant with my daughter. She is now four and she loves crafting with me. We've been colouring the owl from this collection today. Lara, I would love to see a picture of that owl that you've been crafting. Uh, you can send any pictures that you want to us by emailing to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, Fred says, crafting was a must. If we said we were bored, mum would make us I and dad's underwear, including his socks. What? Absolutely, crafting is the better option than ironing any anything, let alone underwear. Uh, I, 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 I have to confess, I love ironing. I really Do love you? ironing. And I am that person that I... I <laughs> I'm such a creeper, creature of habit, right? I do all my laundry. All my laundry goes on in the night that I get back from work and then I hang it all out. And then it will all go into the spare room. And then the day before I go back to work, everything gets ironed all at the same time. I'm that person that has like that two hours of doing the ironing. And you, I love it. Do you know, next time I come up, I'm bringing <laughs> my bag of ironing up okay. as well. I can't bear it. Okay. But now I, I know you love it so much. I have got one of like, <laughs> I've got a bit of a boy toy though. I've got like a big, one of those big... <laughs> Shines, you know, the big steaming one. Right, let me take you through these boards and everything that you are getting in here included. So you're going to get, uh, this is your Woodland Trio, uh, which is this one just here, as you can see. So £98, $128 gets you everything. So there's your Woodland Trio. Uh, what we've also now got as well is the 3D die cut toppers. Now it's the first time you've seen these included in any collection, let alone a nature's garden collection. We've then got some sentiments. So you've got in here with love. Uh, you're going to be able to use these uh, with the collection, of course, or away from the collection. It's up to you. Happy birthday. You've now got as well the foliage border, which is your edgeable uh, that we've got just here, which is fantastic. Uh, you've also got the flourishing floral frames. Now, uh, these are awesome because the frame element on this, you can double cut that uh, and rotate it and you can have a fully floral frame all the way uh, around which is fantastic you've then got of course that embossing folder that fiona showed us a moment ago and then you've got these two now these two next elements for me are the hero uh, of the collection they're a bit like if you remember our um, over the edge characters that we had then these are a lot like those but you can see they are of a woodland theme so you can either have it off the edge or on the left side or the right side put them both together cut it almost all the way out if you wanted to you could just leave it connected at the top you've got all the different options you've got it in the deer uh, you've also got it in the gorgeous little bunny there as well which could be perfect uh, for all of your Easter crafting, I would say. So they, that's the, the hardware, as I like to call it. Uh, now I want to show you uh, the pads because the papers are stunning. They really, really are. So let's start off with the printed paper. So you've got to get it in the 6x6 and in the 12x12. I'm just going to show it to you in the 12x12 size. Uh, and what you've got in here is 48 sheets, which is brilliant. Uh, and it's printed. The, the um, designs are gorgeous. It's 180 GSM. Uh, and it's a 12 by 12 size, which is fantastic. And it works so well uh, with the collection. I love that it's kind of, it's pretty matte. Uh, so if you did want to stamp onto it, you could. Um, it's a really awesome design. So you've got that one there. You get 48 sheets in the 12 by 12 and 48 sheets in the 6 by 6. You're getting both of them. Now, let's, I'm going to save that one until last. It's my favourite. Uh, this one here. Oh, no, this was the one I got in trouble with the other week when I was tearing it. And I, I nearly, I got told off. I thought I was going to get it savaged. Uh, <laughs> I was tearing it to see what colour it is in the middle. It's, uh, it's, it's colour core, this one. I've found a new way of telling. Apparently, if you do tear it, you have to tear it and check at the very, very, the very, very edge. It's a white core. There I was, you go. I was tearing it all the way up the middle. And people <laughs> were having a meltdown in the comments. Uh, 230 GSM. It is a double-sided luxury linen cardstock. So it is not... A, it's not a paper pad, it is a card pad here. You can construct with it. Isn't it gorgeous? The uh, colours are sensational. I really mean, are. I have, never, I have not seen a pad with those colours. That beautiful teal that you've got there with that deeper mm. teal, I mean, just 
delicious. And then you match that with the vellums. Oh, my word. Really lovely. And I think you'll use it all the year through as well. We've also got for you as well the vellum pad. Now, the vellum pad's awesome. Now, the vellum pad isn't just vellum pad, though. Oh, no, it's a topper pad, too. So these are all of your die-cut toppers that are in here. Uh, you can pop these out uh, and use them very easily uh, if you want to just construct a card maybe very quickly. Uh, you've also got sentiments within there as well. But then what you've also got is 24 sheets of the most delicious vellum. Uh, because it is 150 GSM, this. What I love about it is it's got the most amazing... Uh, opacity to it. And yeah. If I show you that there, you can see it's very, very, um, it's very, very opaque. Uh, you can't see it all the way through it, but it does give you a really wonderful added texture. It distresses beautifully. You can tear it, as you, <laughs> as you can see there, uh, and you've got matching designs as well, which are going to incorporate with the rest of the collection and with the other papers too. It tears beautifully, doesn't it, Fiona? It really, really does. Do you know what? This is, these, the papers and cardstock are the bit of this collection that you will use every single time. So if you've already got the other collection, what we've done is we've put together just the paper and cardstock. So if you want to yeah. stock up, I would go for that because look at the beautiful edge you get when you tear this vellum. Now, you don't need to freak because this is actually my own pack. <laughs> so I'm tearing my own pack. But look at that beautiful. So this could be the edge of a layer of a mat or you could just use the whole sheet of vellum and fold it in half to make the insert for your card. But it's absolutely stunning. And then you have got pages and pages of these wonderful, wonderful toppers. And you can see they just pop out like that. Beautiful. So easy, beautifully so easy. die cut and ready for you to craft with straight away. I and love the thing them. is, you know, so I think you're either a you're a die cut top of site kind of person or you're not a die cut top kind of person. If you're not, take those three sheets out of the back and give them to someone that you know that yes. is a die, a die cut top kind of person. Uh, they're like a little bonus in there, really. So if you're going for the whole collection, uh, that's the best deal we've done yes. on this collection. It is. So if you want to get that, it's a uh, £98 or £128. You've got a great saving, you see, getting close to £60 saved in the UK, over $60 in the US. Platinum members, though, $78.40 uh, in the UK means it's a half price deal, essentially, for UK Platinum members. Uh, and in the US, Platinum members save $86 making it $102. Uh, what I would also say is if you're going for the big collection, we're going to send it out to each and every one of you totally free of charge as well, which is fantastic. No PMP or no shipping and handling either to pay on that. Now, if you've already got the big collection, but you want to go for the consumables or you just fancy the papers, really, they are just uh, what you're after, then we've got a great collection for you, which gives you the three papers. So it gives you that six by six and the 12 by 12 printed papers. It gives you the luxury card and it also gives you uh, the vellum pad as well. You can get them all individually, but as you can see, they've got about a 12 pound saving uh, when you get them all together, which is fantastic. Now, the other thing, the only thing then, if you're going for the big collection that you're not gonna get included, is this it is the woodland animal stamp set we don't have very many of these at all to go around so if you did want to get this um that's why we've not included it in the larger collection uh so that's why we've done that uh right we're going to go back to karen now and have a little chat with karen uh who is our craft ambassador uh which is fantastic uh karen how are you doing i'm doing fine thank you Good, good. Uh, now, I know that you uh, haven't been watching us out uh, here at Craft TV all that long. You're a fairly new viewer, which I find exciting because it means you haven't heard most of my tiled old jokes yet, which is fantastic, I think, because they do get repetitive. Um, but how long, um, how long have you been crafting for? What got you into crafting? And what's your sort of preferred type of crafting? Yep, I've, I've been crafting for about seven and a half years now. I started crafting because when I was training for the job I do, I was told to get a hobby or an interest that right. would help me spend some time away from work because work is all consuming. Okie doke. So I chose card making because that's what my mother-in-law did. Awesome. Um, started watching um, TV crafting channels and things like that, got into it and along the way, um, came across crafters tv last april when sarah was on the one show talking about how she was crafting during lockdown and having programs every day oh so awesome came onto youtube and found you 
Oh, fantastic. So that was when it was like back in the day, it was just me and Sarah all day, every day. And just, uh, you know, no one coming in, no one going out. It was a bit of a strange time, uh, wasn't it, back then? Do you remember when you first ever started paper crafting? What was the first thing that you made? Um, I was taken by stamps and um, embossing powder. So I can remember just getting a blank piece of card, stamping some kind of butterfly or design on it um, and embossing it. And that, and that was it. And that was it. That was your first make. Well, you've got to start. You've got to start somewhere, haven't you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, and have you branched out? I know you said it was card making you started with. Have you branched into like mm -hmm. any other sorts of craft over over those years? You're no, just a not puritan. At all. Absolutely. I used I used to do a lot of um, knitting and sewing and that kind of thing. But I had carpal tunnel syndrome about five years ago. And I just can't pick up a sewing needle or anything now. So card making is good because it's all pens and chunky stuff that I can hold. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I think it's, I'm glad that uh, you're able to uh, continue doing something that you love. Uh, now, Karen, someone tells me that you might have a little few things there that you've made that I would love to get a little I look do. at. I know Fiona would love to see I some am, of your makes I'm as well. I am, I'm itching to. I, I was really interested in what Karen was saying as well um, about, Karen, you were, you were using your craft as a kind of de-stress or a way just to focus yourself afterwards and forget about work and just have a bit of me time and do you find that's really helpful in, in what you do oh absolutely i have to ha i'm i'm my, my work means i have to be quite an extrovert and talk all the time um and do, do a lot of zoom meetings and and stuff um so to replenish myself i need a bit of me time so i have my own little craft Brilliant. room that i go into most days just oh, to do that is such a, a bit of something that's yeah, such a good point, perfect. isn't it? Replenish yourself. I love that, I that term. Do you know who someone said to me, because I am the person, I go home and I don't have music on at home. I, I, I'm in silence a lot of the time at home. Wow. And my friends that work from home can't get their head around that. But I think if you do do a very, if you do do a very, um, you know, exuberant job or, you know, yeah. uh, I have no idea. They're saying that a flamboyant job is what I'm hearing uh, from the gallery. <laughs> but sometimes you do need something, don't you? Whatever that is. And yeah. if that is just sitting in silence or that's doing some lovely crafting and whatever it is, you have to find uh, some time for yourself, which is really important. Right, Karen, I'm chomping at yeah. the bit to see some of these makes. <clears throat> right. So one of the things that I've learned since watching um, Crafters TV is um, colouring. And I'm very much awesome. exploring with my colouring. Um, so this is one of the things that I've <gasps> oh, made. It's Lee Holland. It's the yeah. Lee Holland range. It's gorgeous. I love them. That's brilliant. Oh, you've, you've, I don't think you're mastering it. I think you have nailed it, Karen, is what I would say, looking at that. Definitely. And what's, and that, what's that your pens, Karen? Pardon? Was that with pens? Was that with your alcohol pens? Yeah, that's with the tricolour blends. Awesome. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, you got another one there that you wanted to show us? This one. <gasps> Love it. <laughs> Which is a diorama one. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh, yes, that's the twirling characters, isn't it, that one? It is. Was that from the box kit, Karen? Was that the craft yeah. box kit? It's yeah, brilliant, that, was, that kit. Yeah, subs kit 31. <sighs> There you are. There's a woman who who knows knows yeah, her, boom. her race. Box thirty one. Straight away. Straight off the bat. <laughs> Fantastic. OK, Karen, well, I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to come and have another chat with you in a little mm -hmm. while, if that's all right, if you're right to hang on uh, with us. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to fine. Karen uh, in a little while. Uh, if anyone is new to us, though, and, you know, Karen said uh, she found us um, having watched Sarah on the one show, and that was how she started her journey with us here at Crafters TV. If you are new, something you might not know about is Club Inspire, and it means better deal. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. 
spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. Absolutely, and it's so easy to do, you know. All you have to go do is go over to our website on the homepage, you'll see Club Inspire. Click there if you haven't signed up, and there's a sign up button. Input uh, literally just a few uh, very brief details, and you're signed up and good to go. Uh, right, a lot of people talking about apparently we've started something uh, with ironing now. Everyone's talking about ironing in the comments, is what we started. Um, <laughs> Mary says, Oh, we need to wish Mary a happy birthday as well. Mary Ahada uh, in Tennessee. Happy birthday Happy from birthday. us all here uh, at uh, Crafters TV. Um, the lovely Mary uh, has her birthday today. She's bottom line, Crafters Companion paper pads are awesome and so worth every penny, especially the vellums too. Um, Colleen says, Joe, I learned to iron since I was eight. My brother was a tailor and he taught me how to. I, mm. I used to use a wet handkerchief to iron out the sleeves of the shirt so they look sharp. At the end of the week, my brother paid me one dollar. Off I'd go to the store at the corner of my school with my older sister to buy my English Cadbury's chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. I, I'm willing to iron for chocolate, Fiona. If that's the deal that we're willing to strike, yeah. then yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, here for it. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shadaya says as well, uh, she is so right. Uh, she says, Karen is so right. I'm a nurse, so I needed a hobby too. From patience to having patience. I like I what like you did that. there. I like that play on words, mm. should I? Very, very clever. Um, right, let's take you through the next couple of items that we're going to be looking at uh, in the show. So, we've got some embossing folders. Now, we've got two, I've got embossing folders and cut and emboss folders. Now, I love these because they're not a conventional size. We normally see a sort of uh, five yes. by seven size. These are a six by six size. So it means that they are a little bit unusual, but that's good, I think, in my eyes. You've got set in stone. You also have brick layers. Uh, you've also got this one here, which is the Spring Forest. This would go Badly very nice. well, wouldn't it, with that woodland uh, collection that we've got on the show. Definitely. And the swells. I love this. These are sort of very Moorish, Moroccan, sort of Spanish uh, tile. Definitely. I think it's really gorgeous. It's called the Trellis Swirls. $15.50 or $22 if you want to get your hands on those ones just there. And now we have some cut and emboss folders. If you haven't seen these before, I feel like we've sort of led the resurgence in cut and emboss folders yeah. because, you know, a lot of brands out there would sell you an embossing folder and then sell you a die that you laid over it in order to cut that uh, element out that you want to cut out. We haven't do, done that. We've embedded the die within the embossing folder and we're just charging you uh, for the one folder. So you've got a couple of a few different options within this collection. You've got candy cane, which is this one here. You also have floral frame. I I really love that one. Beautiful. Um, this one here is your open window, and these windows do open. These are all just done with a little bit of gilding wax, but you've got loads of options of how you put these together. This one is your sunburst. Wow. And they've then got that one. This one's my favourite. And yes. it is, of course, uh, the bees. Be happy. Uh, £48 or $56 if you want to get your hands on those five embossing folders. Uh, right, we're going to go back yep. to uh, Fiona, because I know, Fiona, you've still got lots that you want to share with us, haven't you, in this Monday Makers show? Absolutely. Now, everybody will know that I adore embossing folders. It doesn't matter whether they are 3D embossing folders, cut, cut and emboss, embossing folders, standard embossing folder, because what you've got when you've got an embossing folder is you've got so many different things. Now, I think this little range of 6 by 6 embossing folders kind of got lost because they were launched with this set of dies and it's the folders which have been used to make the outside of this card so there's that brick wall you are also getting in here now if I turn this to the side you will see look how elegant those swells are absolutely stunning Gorgeous. and it can be a little accent piece like this or it can be the whole thing and again 
There you've got that wonderful set in stone, which is the slightly irregular shape that you've got going on there. And you're also getting, I'm going to turn this one round. Now you can't quite see it. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just run this through because this is that stand of trees, which I think is going to lend itself, whether you are using them for, you know, a whole thing or whether you're using them with your woodland collection. So these are the folders. You get the picture on the front so you can't forget what it is, which is really handy. Now, if you've never seen an embossing folder before, what it is is a plastic folder. Some sides are raised like this, if you can hear that. So you, some sides are raised just there. And then these areas are indented. And when you put your cardstock in and run it through your Gemini machine, what it does is imprint your card with that design. Now, for your standard embossing folders, which is what these are, despite the shape, they're just standard embossing folders, you need, need your two clear cutting plates. And I'm using my junior plate, so you'll see they'll go through your junior machine as well. And I've got some Centura Pearl in there as well, because I want to just show you the design. Actually, do you know, if we've got time, oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Now look at, do you know what? I think that is just stunning. Oh, wow, look at that. What a fantastic shot as well. I'll hold Beautiful. you still so that you can These see. These cameras are good, aren't, aren't they? they? And amazing? we've got Charlotte in the chair as well, pressing the buttons aren't today. Aren't they amazing? So that's brilliant. So that is your trees. Do you know what? I'm going to do all of them just because I can. Just it's because a, I can. <laughs> Here we go. It's so I'm like going to do all four. They're doing a whole female empowerment thing there at the moment. They're like, who run the world, girls? We've got Georgina and Charlotte <laughs> in the chair today. It's an all female gallery uh, in there. Fantastic. They are uh, driving, driving the ship. It doesn't happen very often. But it's brilliant. So I'm just running the you can see how quickly these run through as well. Nine seconds. Now look, I'm gonna hold that one there so you can see while I'm grabbing this one out. Beautiful. There. Look at that. So that is that brickwork. But you know what? Actually I think it works on the purple card. I really do. So you've got the purple one as well. And then in here, let me just run that one through while I'm getting this one out. And then you'll have seen all four embossing folders because these are one of those kind of, oh, whilst we've got them on, grab them. Now look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Really, really wonderful. Really lovely. You know, die cut that, stick a sentiment on it, and you've got the front of a card ready to go. Team it with your, um, your die cut sentiments in your woodland in that woodland pad you've basically got a card there ready to go haven't you joe really gorgeous and um, then and they add so much detail where maybe on a plain piece of card you don't even need to a printed paper you can just emboss it and that's enough yeah. on a plain piece of plate of card look at that look at that imagine getting your alcohol pens now onto that and coloring can you put it alcohol in. on mirror I have, have no idea. Ooh. Oh, Fiona, you're going, going to have to. I've never seen piece. this before. Yeah, yeah. Let's go off piece. Let's do a little bit just here. So these are really good for it as well because the brush nib means you can get all the way in. And this is just fabulous. So I'm using the illustrators. I won't do the whole thing because that will just amuse me. Rather than <laughs> that would be the epitome else. of self-indulgence, wouldn't it? Just to spend yeah. the rest of the show because yeah, they're I'm, colouring the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just going, yeah, no, that's me done, I'm afraid. I'm just colouring for the rest of the show. But look at this. Now, if I, I'm going to have to hold this forward and pop my finger on it, because hopefully right here, let me hold it Oh, up. yeah, I can see that. Can you see? Mm. Can you, there, look at that. Doesn't that love that? Well, well, imagine doing that on the whole of it and turning it mm. into a beautiful, shiny, deep Moroccan background. <gasps> just just gorgeous. gorgeous. I love that. Uh, yes. Sally says she's been using these uh, for the past week or so uh, and really loves them. She actually says, love, 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 love them, is what she yes. says. And she says, oh my gosh, that mirror card is glorious with that yes. swirly folder. Yeah. Isn't it just? It is a match made in heaven. Uh, remember, if you want to get hold of those, uh, then there are four in there for you. So what you're going to receive is you're going to get the set in stone, which is this one here. They're like a dry stone wall, this one almost, is what it kind of uh, reminds me of. Uh, you're also going to get this one here, which is your brick layers, as well as the spring forest. And you've got uh, the trellis as well, the trellis swirls. 
there as you can see uh there you are four piece collection 15.50 or 22 dollars if you want to get your hands on those right righty oh um, back to you fiona yep we're going to now cut and boss folders just in case you've not seen them as joe was saying what makes the cut and boss folders different is they've got the dies embedded in them so in this one which is the b you've got three hexagonal dies this white foam is easy release foam do not be tempted to pick it out with a pin it's meant to be in <laughs> there and then you've got your standard embossing folder and what that means is it is the easiest pie to make yourself a card with one of these now i've got myself a black card base so what i'm going to do now the one thing that i would say is just make sure your dies are facing into your cardstock so there's my folder just there on my front of my card i'm going to fold the back of my card around the back of the folder and then you just run it through like you would a standard embossing folder isn't that clever really that's awesome. it yeah that's it and then we're going to add a beard of gilding wax onto that just so I can show you and then just make this into a card now I love this bee I just think it is gorgeous so here you can see these are my hexagons which have cut beautifully there we go dun, dun, dun. and then if I take this off the folder can you i'll tell you what i'm going to put some gilding wax on that oh, are you? so that you can see it i mean i can see it beautifully but yeah so you can see it at home what i'm going to do is pop a bit of gilding wax right on there because why wouldn't you why wouldn't you it is gorgeous now if you've gone for the collection with the um, rotating glass mat, you will have also got on there, you'd have got not one of your non-stick craft sheets. And had I got my non-stick craft sheet out, that would have been great, but I forgot. So, little bit. It's a bit, bit like your glass mat, but you can roll it up and put it away, really, isn't it? That's it, that's it. Now, look at this. All you do is you just rub very lightly. So the, it comes in big jars. We've also got this on the show as well. Just pick up a tiny amount with your finger and just use that to highlight over your embossed card. Now, I won't do the whole thing because I have actually got one that I've completed and I will show you that. But do you know, this, this detail is just too delicious not to show you. I said, I won't do the whole thing, she says, doing the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> You're going <laughs> right, to do the whole thing. Right, there's me not doing <laughs> the whole thing. Okay, just very quickly. But now look at what a difference that has made to the embossing folder can you see you've got all of that detail coming together and if i bring in this finished card look at that gorgeous that's so what i did was to get the hexagons the right size i cut a piece of white card so i had the hexagons the right size for the apertures and then just stamp just be you and then i found my little b stamp and there you go it's a buzzy bee. Isn't that Wonderful. Fun? I love that idea. Fiona, it's an awesome, awesome card, that one. Isn't it fun? You're going to have some contenders to win uh, card of the week at this rate. You might even get a card that wins it twice, maybe. Who knows? You never know, eh? <laughs> we'll talk to you more about that as we go through the show. Basically, Fiona's box frame accidentally won card of the week again. Twice, two, twice in... Twice in twice in three weeks, accidentally. It was a very good uh, box we will be we will be redoing, we'll be uh, re-electing your uh, card of the week for last week after a little bit of a mix-up uh, on uh, on Sunday's show. So we'll go for it again. Let me run you back through these awesome cut and emboss folders because there's loads in here for you. So remember what you've got. You've got candy cane. You've also got uh, the floral frame which is this one just here. You then also have your open window, as you can see there. This one is your sunburst. And you've also got as well uh, the Be Happy, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, so do grab those £48 or $56 if you want to get your hands on those. Now, uh, we are going to share with you as well details of just going, I'm just going down into the basement, bear with me, uh, the spiral uh, pop-outs, which are just here. Now, let me just grab that uh, for you. Uh, this one is your star spiral. And let me show you what these do. These are absolutely gorgeous. 
Ta-da! Uh, they open up absolutely uh, fantastically. So you've got the stars. Uh, you've also got uh, the hearts in there as well, which are awesome. Uh, we've got this one. <gasps> this would go really well, wouldn't it, with that last one that we uh, looked at as well, that last, um, that last embossing folder that we looked at. Here we are, this one just here. <gasps> Ta-da! Uh, that's your bees. And uh, that one's actually called your honeycomb spiral. This one's your butterfly, Schmedlings, uh, which is that one just there. I do love that. Or mariposa. Or what's it in, um, what is it in papillon in French? There we are. Uh, I can't speak any languages, but I can speak crafting uh, in all three languages now. That's the balloon spiral uh, that you've got uh, just this. I speak, I speak, I'm fluent in schmettling. Uh, we've also got as well uh, the flower, which I adore. I think that one's absolutely awesome. 63 pounds or 72 dollars uh, gets you all of those. Um, now, if you want to grab them, please do. And uh, now would be a great time, uh, as good a time as any to place your order. Uh, you can pop yourself over to the website craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu uh, and there you will find everything. When you just click the shop the show button, it'll all come up uh, underneath there uh, and you can see everything that's available in this show. Now, we're going to go back to Karen because I believe, Karen, a uh, little birdie tells me that you own this collection, is that right? I do. I was on Craft House on birthday week when this was launched. Ooh, so you got to do some crafting along. And how have you been finding yeah. them? Have you been using them lots? What sort? Of, do you think they are good for lots of different styles of card? How are you using them in your crafting? Um, at the moment, I'm tending to use them on all my nieces and nephews, the smaller people in the families. Oh, awesome. Um, just to create a bit of wow inside a card. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing that more than anything else with oh, them. Oh, fantastic. Have you got anything there that you've made using them? Yeah. Oh, let's see then. I'm excited. Yeah. As is Fiona. Oh, yes. So I've got this card, which when you open it... Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that you've fantastic. added detail as well. Added stamps and dies in there, look, Fiona. That's brilliant. And I love the way that the butterfly cascades there. And that's beautiful. Really clever. Beautiful. I love it. Awesome. Awesome. Where are those little added stamps and dies from? Um, they're from the subscription box set. The, oh, the, the, fantastic. The mini boxes. It just so shows you how well everything works together, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. And then I've got this one as well. Ooh, I'm excited. Can a box. <gasps> Fiona, look, an exploding oh. box using those elements as well. Oh, what a brilliant idea. So clever. I yeah. love the way, Karen, that you've actually added the embellishments onto the pop-out because that's exactly mm. what I would do as well, definitely. Mm. Yeah, that is mm. gorgeous, Karen, it really is. So, you Awesome. Oh, I love seeing that. We're going to drop in on Karen again as well in the show. Uh, Karen, of course, is our craft ambassador. If you'd like to be a craft ambassador, you can be. All you've got to do is email us, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk, uh, pop craft ambassador uh, into the subject line, and one of us will get back to you. Now, I know we've shown you a lot of stuff uh, in the show, uh, and I know some of you will be thinking, oh, well, I don't want to miss any of these demonstrations, but I don't want to miss the deals either. Absolutely. Uh, for you guys, uh, we've got a piece of video here that's going to show you how you can watch and shop all at the same time. Take a look. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. We get to that point of a lockdown. We get to that point in a lockdown, Fiona, where we play videos of us in our in our former lives and we start to really wish that the hairdressers were open. That's yeah. we're getting to that point. Uh, I heard um I heard maybe not until mid March was what I just heard. So maybe uh, yeah, this is the same shirt, yes. Uh, I think <laughs> 
cringy sentence. <laughs> mid -mark. I'll I'm give just, you a trim, you know, if saying, you want. Just saying, I can touch the end of my nose <laughs> now with it. It really is. All right, if you've got a pair of those, interesting. Um, got a pair of those sharp uh, Crafts Companion scissors, I wouldn't mind giving you a bit of a choppy, bit of a choppy yeah. fringe. Do you know, I, it's getting to the stage where it may happen. You never know. <laughs> Watch this space for shrinking hair next week. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Betty says, uh, Fiona, you go, girl. You're rocking that card, she says there. Uh, Lara <laughs> loving uh, Karen's creation as well. Says, that's amazing, Karen. Um, Karen also says, uh, it's not the same Karen, is it? It's a different Karen that's commented, saying that she's going to get those cut and emboss folders. Absolutely uh, love them, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, so, yes, keep letting me know. I'd love to know what you're purchasing, what you're buying. Oh, I did have a question as well, actually, yes. about from a Patricia Watling. who said, hello, everyone. Quick question. Are double points being extended till midnight tonight? I've got a big purchase that I was thinking about making. And do you know what, Patricia? We weren't sure. So we investigated. And do you know what? Turns out... Double points is like a double points hangover. Uh, that's what we're calling Ooh. it. So from the weekend, we had a weekend promotion running on double points, but the deal's still there at the moment. So we just reached out uh, to uh, you know the tech guys over the way at HQ, and turns out that it's going to be left up until midnight tonight. So oh, oh, I thought you'd missed out. You haven't missed out. You can get double points across everything, meaning that the spiral pop-out range, uh, you'd get 126 <gasps> points in the UK uh, to get this. You get uh, wow. 144 <laughs> points uh, to get this if you are in uh, the US as well. So do grab uh, anything you like because you will get double points up until midnight tonight, which is fantastic. Right, Fiona, fantastic. what would you like to take us okay, through? I am going to do a demonstration with the beautiful spiral. However, the, um, the other cut and emboss folders are feeling lonely. So I'm going to have to run those through and show you the other ones as well. So here I have got that beautiful candy cane. And so what I thought I would do is I'm just going to show you these, show you a couple of samples, and then we'll get on and we'll use that spiral die as well. So these are just so quick and easy. So you're getting the bee happy. You are also getting this fantastic look at that not only does it cut that beautiful center panel but you also get all of that stitching cut as well now you've got that beautiful sunray which i think is gorgeous in here so again you know a card in one pass is essentially what you're getting here you know there's some things that we've uh, forgotten about maybe you'll maybe you like this fact i don't know i know there's some people that definitely will what I forgot is that in sort of shopping TV setup, <laughs> I've forgotten that we normally stand next to each other. So we normally do. like in the old days, I'd be over here and then I'd come over there and I'd be next to you and we'd be having a bit of a chat and then I'd run back over here yes. again. It's kind of like I've forgotten that that's a thing, you know. I wonder if we'll ever go thing. back to the old ways. I hope we do because I miss yes. being, you know, I miss being within touching distance do you know, of you. And, it, and it's also the fact that you used to have a crafty helper who you could hand yes. things to oh, and go, could you just get, put that like, back in the pot for yeah, me, Joe, absolutely. rather than me knock it all flying? Well, hopefully one day soon we can, uh, you know, be within arm's reach of each other again. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be, be just gorgeous? So I just wanted you to see that these are ridiculously quick and easy and everything gets done in one pass. So you've got your window, which looks like this, just on your craft card with the open window. But look how it looks when you decorate it up. Oh, my word. Um, you're also getting this beautiful spray. That's gorgeous. I've got another demonstration with that. You've got the wonderful candy cane, which you can use portrait or landscape, entirely up to you. There we go. Doesn't that look fantastic? Wonderful. Or Love that. maybe, now I think this is just sensational. That sunburst, I think, is absolutely incredible. And look what happens if you emboss a folder. How amazing Ooh, is that? Lovely. That is going to brighten anybody's day, isn't it? So you're getting all of those and the little bee too. I mean, you, why would you not? They are just so useful, aren't they? Really are so, so useful. Okay, we will use the spiral one now. Joe. Fantastic. I will go back to what I was meant to be doing. <laughs> uh, it's not like you to go rogue, Fiona. No, not uh, at all. Not at all. Uh, so yes, that was the, uh, so now on your screen details, spiral pop-outs, uh, £63 or $72. I'm just going to quickly whiz again through the options that you've got there. So you've got the awesome star, uh, which gives you that look and feel. You've got the heart, 
Uh, you've then also got as well the hexagon, which is the B. Uh, we've got this one here, which is the butterfly. And you've got the balloons, or as they call them in Germany, Luftballoon. Uh, and you've got the uh, flower there as well. So you've got all of those coming included for that price. And do you know, it's not often really, Fiona, we think about the inside of the card, is it, so much as we do the outside? Yeah. Yeah, and do you know, what? when we've got all that creative space we can use, why would you not? So again, I'm sticking with my theme of bees, and I'm going to be using the bee, the spiral pop-out honeycomb. And you can see, if I pop that there, this is what you get in there. You get your bee happy, you get your little bee, which is just too cute. You get a little flower, and you get your two spirals, which you cut out in one and then join together. So what we're going to do... Yes, we are just going to pop this onto a piece. Now, this is actually, if you're wondering, you could have used, actually, I could have used the um, woodland cardstock, but I have used the warm tones because it was just, it was just honey coloured. I do like it. Now, this is a thin metal die. So if you're using your Gemini, you're going to use your frosted shim. You're going to use your magnetic and you've got a cutting plate top and bottom. There we go. And then we're just going to run that through our machine. You'll notice I'm using the junior plates for speed through the bigger machine. Joe, have you seen the big, big machine? The big machine. Oh, yeah. I, oh. funny, I was saying this the other day. It's funny how oh. um, our different crafters like to use different machines. Craig will use the Gemini Junior at any chance he gets. Even if he has one demo in the middle of his show that requires the big Gemini, he will oh, put right. the junior away, get the Gemini out, do the, the one demo, then he'll put the big one away and get the junior back out again and use that for the rest of the show. Oh, Whereas you always strike me as someone that just uses the larger machine all the time. Yeah. It really is, isn't it? It just depends on what sort of, what, what you're most comfortable with, really. Absolutely. So, here we go. We've got a card base that I've already pre-made. And you can see what I've done is I've used my hexagon stitch dies to cut myself a frame. And again, I've used the um, warm tones pad to match so that they both work together. And we're going to put the spiral inside. Now, how I want to do it is I want a spiral from here and we're going to join the second. So they're going to be joined by the middle. So what I'm going to do is just pop a bit of tape for speed on here. Now at home, in all honesty, I would probably use a wet glue and hold it, but we're going to use the tape and we're going to hope for the best. So here we go. What I'm doing is I'm just put some tape in the middle of there and we're just going to press that down. And then I've got a, oh, I've got a spiral. Sorry, little things please me so much, far more than they should far more than they should <laughs> so that i'm just going to loosen that up so one spiral is going to go in there and one spiral is going to go on the front there so we'll pop the spiral that's going to be on the front just here a little bit of tape just on that side so here we go that is going to sit just there and attach that spiral there and then I want to attach the other spiral this way and I find the easiest thing to do is not to get my fingers stuck to it is to stick that down there and then when you open it out you've got your boingy spiral love it all the way here so what we'll do next is then it's about decorating now I like if I close that up I like as um, Karen was doing, I like putting some little de details actually on the spiral itself. So right. we're going to have a little bee just in the centre there. And again, these, these are from that particular collection. And we're maybe going to have one up in the corner, just there. There we go. And I've got another one. You can see I went a bit crazy with these bees, but they are just, they make me smile. I think that's it. I think bees make me smile. They make me smile when I see them in the garden. And you know, you go up to flowers and sort of watch them collecting it and they're full of pollen. 
Mm. Absolutely full of pollen. So oh, well, we I live in Manchester, and the bee is now the symbol of, well, it has always been the symbol of the Manchester, oh. of Manchester, the worker bee, uh, because Lowry said that they, uh, watching people coming in and out of the uh, mills in swarms, uh -huh. reminded them the worker bees returning to the nest and going in and out of the nest. Uh, and it was oh. always popular hundreds of years ago as the national, uh, the sort of the emblem for the city. Uh, and then after, um, uh, things that happened in recent years uh, after the terrorist attack that happened there about four years ago now, uh, it made a real resurgence as sort of this symbol of Manchester uh, and it's really popular. It has all the bins have it on and it's absolutely everywhere. Oh, There's even fantastic. a shop that only sells things uh, with bees on. It's a real sort of, it's become very, very popular uh, again. Brilliant. It's everywhere. Uh, it's really, uh, it's really quite lovely. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of stuff at home now. It's got like little bees and stuff on it. So it's definitely becoming a thing. So this is a card for a Mancunian friend. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, there we go. So we've got B, I mean, very simple, but I think the design enables you to do that. So there's your B, then you've got your spiral just on the inside with your Bs, and I'm just going to put one more B on the back just there. Isn't it, isn't it fun? I mean, I just think these are, as Karen said, they, they're one of those that just make you smile when you open them up, especially if you decorate the insides of the spirals with whatever you fancy, really. Mm. Uh, and I go. think we, we bring you a lot of now stamps and dies that are kind of on the smaller side, don't we? You know, things yes. like the um, staycations and those kind of things. Get Definitely. those involved on the inside of your cards. But that is a really, really beautiful... Uh, it's a beautiful uh, project <laughs> that you've done uh, there. I think is awesome. Uh, it really is brilliant. Uh, right, we are going to go back uh, to the Wooden Friends collection is where we're going next. And I want to take you through exactly what you are getting included in here. So you've got the Woodland Trio in here first, which is your uh, first stamp set, which is beautiful. Uh, and then what you've got here is uh, your topper collection. That's the first time we've done these. These are uh, like laser cut 3D die uh, cut toppers. They make great stoppers. Uh, if you want to use them as a stopper on your card, they're fantastic for that. And they work really well with the die cut toppers that are in the back of the 12 by 12 printed papers as well. So think about using those in conjunction with that. Some sentiments for you. Now, sentiments, of course, you're going to be able to use these across everything. Uh, they are uh, really versatile. You don't need to use them with this collection. You can, of course, use them with everything. So you've got with love. You've got happy birthday there as well. Uh, so they are quite um, versatile ones. You've then got an edgeable, and this one is the foliage border that you've got just here. Uh, the next one we've got is the flourishing floral frames. Uh, I love this one. Uh, I'll just show you this element just here to it because what you can do is, I know I say this every time I show you this board, you must think I'm so bored of hearing him saying that now, but I love it as, a, as an effect. Cut two of these and stick them uh, the other way and you get like a fully floral um, border. And then also, you know, maybe even think about snipping the floral element off away from the frame if you want to. There's so many different ways. And that's what I think really sets us apart here at Crafts Companion. You know, it's designed by crafters for crafters. So you know you're always going to get the most amount of craftability out of absolutely everything in the range. You've got that gorgeous embossing folder there. And then what you've got uh, is this beautiful, they're kind of like an over the edge die. It's the woodland deer, but you've got the stamp and then the die and the die is separated in two different parts. So it means that you can cut it from the left side or you can cut it from the right side, put the two together, cut it all the way out if you want to. You've got sentiment stamps in there. You've got flourishes that you can then die cut out to. It's a really nice uh, stamp and die set that one. This one here as well, we've got Flopsy. I'm decided he's called Flopsy. I don't know why. I've only just decided today. Uh, but you've got Flopsy uh, the bear. The bear? The bear? <sighs> he is not. That's not a bear, people. Do not. It's a good job I'm not doing homeschooling, isn't it? It's not a bear. Uh, schooling. <laughs> it's. A, did I say that funny? Schooling. Schooling. Uh, schooling. 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 Oh, I don't know. Stop, stop picking on me. <laughs> You've got the bunny rabbit in there in exactly the same uh, way as well. It's been a long couple of days here, okay? <laughs> uh, and then what we've got here uh, are your paper pads. Uh, you can get the paper pads on their own. I'll give you the details of that in just a moment. Uh, you've got the 12 by 12 printed papers in a 12 by 12 size, of course, because they're 12 by 12, as I've just said. Can I say 12 by 12 anymore? Uh, 180 GSM there. And you've got, uh, and these are printed for you. And they are, of course, all designed. 
Uh, they are tw 12 by 12. I don't know what that is in centimetres. It's about 30 centimetres, isn't it? I'm going to guess. Uh, you've got it in the 6 by 6 size as well, which is fantastic. Uh, then you've got, oh, I love this as well. It is the um, gorgeous textured cardstock. So it's a 12 by 12 textured cardstock that you've got uh, in all the different array of colours, all colour match beautifully to work across your collection, but also to work across those printed cards. Uh, as well. It's 30 centimetres, 12 by 12. There you go. Well, there you go. That was go. a good guess, wasn't it? Uh, and then this one. <laughs> I love her. how pleased I am with that. I'll find a win in anything, me, Fiona. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what we've got for you in here, not only do you have the vellums, but all of these awesome uh, die-cut topper pages as well. And the great thing is, as I said, you know, maybe, maybe die-cut toppers aren't for you. You can just pull these out. They'll just come out very easily. You could give those away to a friend if you want to. You won't know. You'll say, oh, no, I'm not a die-cut topper person. Friend, you'll get these home. you think there is no way I'm giving those to anyone. I'm going to be using those. They make a really great, ta great tag as well. Great tag. <laughs> just put a little... <laughs> it's really not going well, is it? Put a little hole punch in the top of there. Uh, and you've got a... a Tag done, ready to go, which is awesome. Same for this one uh, here. Uh, it says, appreciate the little things. I love they've got some like inspiring quotes in there as well. And then what you've got in here is 24 sheets of the vellum. And the vellum is, oh, it is just so gorgeous. It's 150 GSM. It's a really, really nice quality. Uh, it tears beautifully. It's got a really lovely opacity to it as well. Uh, I think it's awesome. It's, this was, I believe, the first 12 by 12 vellum, vellum pad that we ever did uh, mm. in this range. Uh, so really great to get that in there. If you want to go for the whole collection, you've got best ever pricing on this. Uh, £98 is your price in the UK, uh, which is... Is, is really, really awesome. Uh, if you're a platinum member, you get it for 78.40 in the UK. That's uh, a saving of 77.46. That's half price compared to buying it individually. That is how good the deal is. If you're across in the US as a platinum member, $102.40. Uh, uh, that's a saving of $86. What it also means as well is that everyone is going to get free shipping handling and free postage and packaging on this. We'll send it out to you totally free of charge. If you are going for it, there's one more, one more element you may want to go for, and it is this element just here. We have very, um, a very few of these to go around. Uh, it's why it's not been put into the big collection. We have removed it because uh, otherwise it means that the collection would sell out very quickly otherwise. So we've removed it from there. It's available individually, $7.99 or $9.95. You might want to add that to your order to have that full set what you can also go for as well is you can go for uh, the paper and card set as well so you can go for the um, vellum pad you can go for the printed pad and the textured card stock in the 12 by 12 you'll also get in there as well that six by six pad too so 51 pounds or 62 dollars if you wanted to go for that one Right, uh, we've also got that Get It deal available for you on the show as well, uh, which is this one just over here. And um, what you're going to get there, of course, is an awesome uh, selection of adhesives in there. So you've got uh, the all-purpose glue, you've got the red liner tape in there. We've also got uh, two tape pens, you've got the dotty and you've got the regular extra strong one as well. Uh, and you've got your 3D foam pads in there too, which is awesome. It's on a, a great 20% saving, £23 or 30 nine dollars which is awesome uh, right we're going to go back and check in with karen for the last time uh, are you still there with us karen i am yes hi oh uh, uh, awesome have you been enjoying the show i have thank you oh good uh, i am glad do you tend to watch us live karen or do you tend to catch up afterwards or it's a bit of a mix it's it depends around work i tend to watch you most days days this show the four o'clock show oh awesome um, and weekends and oh. then the other shows I have to catch up later. I try and watch Wake Up With Craig, but sometimes I just have to watch that. A bit yes, later on absolutely. The day. Are you sort of sometimes, you know, working from home with one eye on the on the phone? Uh, I, don't say anything yes. if you think your bosses might be watching because I wouldn't want to get you in trouble. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, now, uh, it's been such a pleasure having you uh, on the show thank with you. us. Uh, and as a thank you, uh, we'd like to send you a £20 or $20 uh, gift voucher as well uh, to say thanks, Karen. So we'll get that uh, winging its way out to you, thank which will be you. lovely. So treat yourself uh, to something nice on us. Uh, have you got any crafting that you're going to be, have you got any projects that you're going to be uh, starting in the next couple of days that you're going to be working on that you're looking forward to? Um, I've just finished doing some on the um, pop-up number cards. Um, Fabulous. So now I'm looking at the la latest subscription box, which is the one with the um, 
three D embossing folders <gasps> and stencils. Oh, Fiona's so very excited. Working with that next. Is that a good one, Fiona? That is a brilliant, absolutely. I think of all the subscription boxes, that one I absolutely love. I was I had was fortunate enough to launch that one um, down the road in Peterborough, and I had it on a show here, and it's just. The craftability in that one is second to none. Karen, you're going to have such yeah. an amazing time with it. You really are. Thank oh, you. Awesome. Well, uh, I look forward to maybe seeing uh, some of the pictures, Karen, of what you uh, get up to with yeah. that a little bit later down the line. Uh, Karen, from all of us here at Crafters TV, it's an absolute pleasure to have you join us in the show. Thank you so much. Uh, and we'll see you uh, soon uh, back here on Crafters TV. Take care, Karen. Bye. Thank you. Uh, oh, so lovely to have you uh, guys join us in the studios. It's so lovely to get to know uh, each and every one of you. I'd love to, you know, at some point in the near future, Fiona, I'd yeah. love to be able to put a face to every single name that I see coming up. Wouldn't it be lovely if we could get every single person that comments regularly in these shows on one of our shows so we knew who they were? Who, who like was a, a huge Zoom audience. Can you imagine? A huge audience. It would be amazing. Maybe we could do it? like Crafters TV does the voice. We could have a spinning chair. <laughs> uh, we could have a big spinning chair, like a big wall of So long as none of us have studio. to sing. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, Debbie Robinson, she can sing. She, she could do the uh, singing. That would yeah. be absolutely yeah. uh, fantastic. <laughs> Lots of you chatting away. Laura says, thanks to double points in yesterday's sales, I'm almost to silver level in Club Inspire. I never thought I'd get there. Not only I did it, but only uh, it's only just February. Maybe platinum isn't unrealistic after all. Oh, platinum's where you get the biggest savings. Diane says, I have the Gemini Go, the Junior, the Mini, and wanted something slimline card, so decided on the Pro. <gasps> She's got nearly the whole family. Uh, Lorraine says, hello Joe, Fiona and all the CC peeps, could not think of a better way to spend my 65th birthday than with all of you. <gasps> happy oh, birthday, happy Lorraine. Happy birthday. We need a happy birthday graphic, we? Need don't a, we? we yeah. need a happy birthday one we for everyone. We like need an explosion, yes. like a, a confetti explosion yeah, that goes we'll, over we'll the screen. We'll do the explosion though. We, you ready, we can do our, One, two, three. We do our own special yeah. effects here at Crafters <laughs> TV. There you are. There's the... <laughs> confetti there explosion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aisha says, oh, a Zoom audience. I would love Ooh, that. Yeah. I think you've planted a seed there Ooh. and I'm definitely willing to water it, uh, Fiona. <laughs> Excellent. Um, it would be fun. Loads of fun. Uh, right, now, I know you've got more you want to show us uh, yes. with the uh, Woodland Collection. Uh, do you know what? I just think this collection is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to be using... The Owl, who I think is, is absolutely fab. Now, this is the Woodland Trio, which comes with your collection. And if I move this over, you'll be able to see you've got the Owl, the little mouse. You've got that beautiful squirrel. You've got Have a Mice Day. You're a hoot. Go nuts. <laughs> this is uh -huh. great fun. Now, I'm also going to be using the branch. Now, if you want to get the branch, you need to grab this collection. If you're looking for it in the big collection and it comes in, you can't find it. It's because the branch is on woodland animals, which ah. is that one which is on its own. Okay, so okay. that is lovely because you've got the fox there, you've got the tree stump, you've got the, <laughs> I like this, sending hedgehogs. <laughs> that's just the, I just think that's fabulous. Foxy, and you've got your little hedgehog on there as well. So what I've done is I've taken those two stamps off and I have popped them onto my stamping platform. There they are. And because I'm using alcohol pens, I am going to stamp with my finesse ink. So remember, this is the ink pad which comes with the rotating platform at the moment and with that craft sheet. So if you're going for that, you will have one of these fabulous finesse alcohol proof pens coming your alcohol proof pads coming your way so what i'm going to do is just to stamp my sleepy little owl and the branch just there there we go so then they're ready to color in so i'm going to grab my rotating platform look at me clearing space i know here we go and I feel even when I'm using my rotating platform, I do pop a piece of card under the card that I'm actually colouring in. Now, so that don't the forget goes that that through. rotating board is the... Look. Fabulous. I love it. It goes it. that way but too. But the great thing about it is, though, Fiona, it's the... 
Monday Megadeal. <laughs> Absolutely, that is what it is. Yes, remember, you're going to get the rotating design board, you're going to get that craft mat that goes with it, and you're going to get the alcohol proof ink pad as well, which is absolutely awesome. You can get all of it there. Details along the bottom of your screen down there are £26 or $35. Don't miss out on that. The Monday Mega Deal only lasts for 24 hours as well, whereas the rest of our uh, deals tend to last for around about 48 hours here on Crafters TV. So make sure you snap up that time limited offer. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to grab that colour too. Okie doke. So what we're going to do is we're going to colour this little owl. He is just fabulous, isn't he? And again, I've gone for my earth browns. My earth brown two, four and six are in that collection of 36 fabulous. that we get, we've got in there. Now I'm just going to colour him. Now it's a smallish area, but I am just going to lay down a couple of flicks of my lightest colour first. There we go. What I also love about this point is it really does enable you to get into these fine detail areas beautifully. Look at that. You can get right into the tiniest area. The way you get into a small area when you're working with a brush nib um, is you just hold your pen a little more upright. Okay. That's, that's it. That's the only bit it of magic It looks like you're just sort of tickling is. it as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're barely, you're barely touching the paper. I mean, these, these nibs are just so beautifully responsive when you're working with them. I mean, they are gorgeous. And again, I'm just flicking a wee bit of colour in there and then I can start building that colour up by going in with my darker colours. You know, if you feel more comfortable going in with the fine tip, you can still like that if that feels more comfortable to you you don't have to always go to the brush nib that's why the pen's got another end it's really so awesome. easy isn't it do you know i i'm a bit like karen i tend to get lost in coloring when i'm coloring it's there's something about it that i just find it totally de-stresses me and i have to say when i'm doing it at home i don't talk at the same time and funnily enough joe i'm a bit like you I very rarely have music or anything no, on I when people I'm on my really own. Surprise, uh, that people really surprise me. I've just got into, right, can I do a bit of a whinge? Yes, go on, Joe. I know do you, a love a, a we, you, you love a whinge, don't you? We both yeah. love a whinge, Fiona. We, we do. do. Uh, we not do. generally. We're not whingy people like every single day. But it does get to every the point where we're like, well, actually, while you're on the subject. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, indeed. And do you know what for me it was? Audible, oh. I had a problem with, right? Because oh. streaming services, TV streaming services, right? Netflix, uh -huh. let's use Netflix as an example. You pay your, I don't know, what is it? 8 99 uh, 9 $9.99, $10.99, whatever it is for the service you get. And what you do is you get access to absolutely everything that's on there uh, all the time. Yeah. So that's where I thought everything was like. Then I went to sign up for Audible and I realised you only get one book. <laughs> So you pay the monthly service charge, but you don't get to listen to all the books. You just get one credit for one book every month, yeah. No. So it's seven ninety nine a month, and it's one book. But people who do it absolutely swear about it. Uh, so our big boss, Laura, over in the office, she loves it, Audible. Uh, I know Leanne uses it. Uh, Craig absolutely loves it as well. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to download it. I don't know where I'm going with this story. I can't remember why I started telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a long oh. couple of days, guys. It's been a long couple of days. Oh, that was it. Being in silence. I usually drive a lot in silence. So anyway, I've downloaded it and I started listening to it yesterday on the way in. I downloaded uh, there's a comedian in the UK called Tom Allen. Uh, he's got oh, a, a book yes. called No Shame Out, which is his autobiography. And it's read by him as well. And I must tell you, when I got to work yesterday, my sides hurt. I'd laugh that much <laughs> on the way in. So I definitely recommend it. Having whinged and moaned about it to you all for months and months and months, I've finally... I do that. I'm a bit fickle, Fiona. Did, That's he, the grow, thing. did he grow up in Reading or... Sorry? Slough or somewhere in Berkshire, Tom Allen. Is he I what, sorry? So. He's, He's from Berkshire, isn't he? He is from... Oh, gosh, how can I listen to his autobiography, his childhood years, yesterday, <laughs> now? Uh, not, he's from Slough. That's he's where from he's from. Slough. He's from Slough. Yeah, oh, I love go. him. I absolutely uh, love him. Yeah, it was very, very good. Uh, so I need... But what I need is I need audio book recommendations, please, people. So I need to add some to my wish list. So uh, do let me know what audio books are good and which ones I should listen to. Craig loves Philip Schofield's autobiography. He's listened to that one on audio book, I know. Um, yes, yeah, so I need to ask him what other ones he has listened to. Let's get it 
back on track. That owl <laughs> looks yes. absolutely gorgeous. I need to let you know that it's still very busy on the illustrators as well. 63.74 or 101.95. As a platinum member, though, you're looking at a 50.99 or 81.56. Um, and you chose this as your star by Fiona. Yes. Um, very succinct collection of colours in here, isn't there? A really nice bundle that's going to allow you to do loads of different uh, scenes, if it were. Absolutely. You've got everything you need for hair and skin in there. And as you can see, fur and feathers just come as a bit of a bonus in there as well. You've got our top range of pencils. If you've got the tri-blend and you want to maybe have a bit of a dabble at something new, then Ooh, this is a, a fabulous... Of a yeah, do you know what? This is such a good way of having a play and seeing if they're for you because you're going to get 36 pens, which will work with any of your colours as well. Do you know, I'm, I'm loving my storage. I, I am a bit of a storage freak. As anybody who's followed me on Facebook will realise that I've just spent the last two weeks reorganising my craft room oh. and it's, it, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Now look, look who, at who, that. who wouldn't love my what? little, oh, uh, isn't that gorgeous? It's so gorgeous. Really sweet, really lovely. Right, okay, I'm going to put this to one side, stop playing and make this into a card. I was going to make an owl noise then, but I realised just before I did it that I was going to be absolutely hopeless at it, so I stopped myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, one says twit and the other one says true. Did you twit know that? Woo. Twit woo. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, so one <laughs> one says the twit and one says the true. <laughs> you've got that can't be serious yes. apparently the man twits to the woman and if she's interested she twoes back well i think that's <laughs> it's perfect, a lot like it's it? a lot like that would make life in Darlington. a lot easier wouldn't it that would make yes. life so much easier ah. <laughs> the owls have got it right one twits <laughs> and one twoes what does she say if she's not interested no tar and then just heads off <laughs> she doesn't even bother to reply i think that's she great. ghosts him that's it <laughs> <laughs> now i'm just running a with love sentiment through um my gemini mini there it is so this is the with love sentiment which comes with the folders and this is great because it do you know this is where the mini really comes into its own it's fabulous for this kind of small die that you just want to get it cut but look how beautiful do you know what i'm going to pop that there so that you can see it in all its glory well, look at that isn't that fantastic gorgeous absolutely beautiful fiona and you will use all of those with loads of other collections that we bring to you as well don't think you've just got to Definitely. use them in this well there's been a bit of a plot twist we all laughed didn't we about it go on it's then. the woman that twits the man ah and if he's interested he twoes back apparently so it is the it's the female uh, that does the chasing in the owl well, world there, you, there you are emancipated owls there we are <laughs> how fantastic is that Oh, fantastic. Right, fantastic. so... <laughs> we can't talk about ours anymore because we're going any further in this conversation, we're going to get ourselves in trouble, I think, Fiona, I don't think you? we are. So what I've taken is a five and a half inch scalloped edge die and I've cut it three times. There you go. One of them I have just scored in half and scored at the end there. So this is going to make my easel base. So it again just for speed i am going to use my trusty tape runner by the way the deal of the week if you've not used our tape runners or our glues mm. it's a fantastic way again to get a taste through a ball of them and yeah. see the quality mm. because they are just fantastic and again there's part of these well now all i need to do is to glue my piece of card just on that bottom half if you glue it on the top half all you've got is a circular card with which with a very deep front so only glue it on the bottom half just like that uh sandra says i've just completed a six part easel card for my should be daughter-in-laws uh, for her birthday i will send a picture tomorrow when everything is dried and in place i oh, look forward fantastic. to seeing that fantastic and i'll still be here so you will indeed i will get to see it too that uh, you will really so you're useful. up with me tomorrow uh, what's tomorrow's tuesday so it means tomorrow I've got is tuesday a yes, sarah craft fault then I've got Bernie, and then it's me and you for two shows, isn't it? That's right. So we've got launch party and craft folk. 
that's it fantastic that's it we've got a fabulous launch party lined up as well i tell you what if you're new to card making watch the launch party i've got tomorrow because we've got some fantastic kits from our friends at hunky dory on and what i love about those is i think they are a brilliant way of getting into card making but i also think they're fantastic cards in their own right do you know it's one of those things that i do do even now is i still buy myself a card kit every now and again and i challenge myself to make some different cards using it and the details i mean some of these are beautiful we've also got the most gorgeous um sprays mica sprays in there and you know me and a bit of spray and a bit of mica i absolutely you love, love it love them i you really, really do. do so i've just cut out my little owl and my little branch and a couple of leaves that I have coloured so I'm just going to find my collal and then we will put this card together where did I put my collal Aha, here we go so you could use the foam pads that we've got in the um, deal of the week they would be great I just forgot to bring mine in so my little owl I just think that makes me smile it just yeah, it, uh, I'm sorry. It just tickles me. It really does. I love it. So there They are go. nocturnal as well, aren't they, Owls? They are, yes. I feel like I would, could, if I didn't have to work, you know, I feel like I might be nocturnal, you know. I'm not mm. a morning person, Fiona. I'm that person that gets up like 40 minutes before I need to be at work and I am alarm off in the shower, wash, change, downstairs, breakfast, coffee, done. And I usually arrive to work with about 30 seconds to spare. I think you're my, my brother from another mother, Joe. Really? You're the same yeah, person I think there? Exactly the same. Absolutely. Exactly the same. And then I'm going to use that with love that I've just done. And that is going to be my fabulous, fabulous stopper just inside. And then we've just got a little bow just there that is going to sit there i will hold this a bit carefully because it is still drying but how fab is that beautiful just for Absolutely any gorgeous. time of the year all from the collection with that branch from the extra stamp set i just think these the, there is so much craftability in this particular kit young old male female and just something to make you smile absolutely we all need to smile we all do as my mum says you've got to laugh haven't you about anything yes anything she's any news that's delivered and she goes oh well you've got to laugh haven't you and it's like no not all the time sometimes it's sad <laughs> Uh, but she says it for everything. Right, we need to uh, <laughs> we need a recount on the card of the week because I'm going to grab it and tell you what happened. Yesterday, we got Fiona's box frame, which was a previous week's winner, confused with the cards um, that were the cards of the week. They were all in there, basically. But basically, Fiona's won card of the week again. And we can't <laughs> have that because it's against the rules. Uh, Fair and we'll enough. get investigated by the ASA or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so um, let me just show you uh, what we've got here. Uh, you can vote on your card of the week. Now, I'm going to share them with you. So let's go through. Uh, you need to note down what's your favourite. I'll give you the names for them, OK? Uh, Charlotte, do you want to write down the names I give you as well? Because otherwise, we will get them... We will get them from few. So, numbers is this one. That's that one. That's Craig's, if you want to go for that one. I think the winner is a foregone conclusion, to be honest. And it's this one. Uh, and, well, I hope it doesn't win, because Debbie says I can have it if it doesn't win. Uh, it is this one. We'll call this one Thanks. Uh, it was the maker statements that we did there. Uh, this one we've got here is Happy. This is also Debbie's. This might have sneaked in from a craft pot, but we won't tell anyone about that. Um, so you've got that one there. This one here, no name on this one. So if this one wins, uh, Smile is what that one is called. I think that was so... I think that was... A, uh, I think that was... It was Craig, yes. Let's put Craig on the back of that one. Uh, that one, let's call it Smile. Uh, just there. Uh, let's call this one here. Again, no name on this, so someone's going to have to claim it. If uh, Someone's going to have to let us know who this is if it wins. Cross is what we'll call this one. Cross. 
Um, we've got this one just here. Uh, this is Debbie Fisher's, uh, and this one, let's call this one Rose uh, that we've got there. So if you want to vote for that one, it'll be Rose. Um, we've now got this one again, another one from uh, Debbie Fisher, from Colour Me Happy. Uh, let's call this one Watering Can, if you want to vote for that one. Uh, let's call this one just here. Uh, if you want to vote for this one, again, no name on this one, so I don't know how. Uh, this was Sarah, was it? Right. I should be telling that Sarah off for not writing her name on this. Let's call it Thoughts. You're always in my thoughts, so let's call that one Thoughts. This one uh, was Bernie's, and this one is, uh, let's call this one Embroidery, uh, if you want to vote for that one. <laughs> All right, we'll call it Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, this one here, another Debbie Fisher one from the Craft House. Let's call this one, sh no, not Schmetterling. Let's call this one Love. We haven't got a Love, have we already? No, let's call this one Love then, because I've got another Schmetterling in a moment. Uh, then uh, we've got this one here. This was the lovely Debbie's. It was a quad easel card that she did. And we'll call this one uh, Butterfly. There you go. So if you want to vote for that one. No, we'll call that one quad. Sorry, I take it back. I understand how this may be confusing for you, uh, but we will get it right, I promise. It's quad. If you want to go for this one, you need to vote quad. And uh, if you want to go for this one, it's butterfly. Butterfly, if you want to vote for that one, OK? I'm not going back through. Do I need to, re do I need to recap them quickly? OK, you're only going to have five minutes to vote, because then we've got to do the card of the show after that as well. So you've got... Butterfly, Quad, uh, Love, which was that easel card, J, then you've got uh, Thoughts, um, oh sorry, oh, honestly I feel like I'm on the generation game, I'm getting a bit nervous, uh, you've then got Watering Can, uh, this one here is Rose, you have got Cross, uh, this one is Smile, <gasps> Happy, uh, and this one is the winner obviously. I'm not trying to influence your vote at all. Vote thanks. Uh, this one here is thanks. Uh, and uh, then you've got numbers as well. You have got five minutes to vote. Five minutes. I'm really sorry because Colleen, who is our social media superstar, she didn't know this was happening. And I've just sprung it on her. So, Colleen, I am so sorry. Uh, because we're going to do another vote then after this one is done for the card of the show. Uh, and then... After that, well, we, this will give us our card of the... We will have our four cards for January then, so we'll have to vote somehow on the card of the month. Maybe, I think we talked about doing that across on social media. So, uh, let's uh, give you uh, a couple more, few more minutes uh, to get, keep voting uh, on there as well. Very busy on the Woodland uh, collection. I uh, remember what you're getting included in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful collection. Uh, and in here, uh, you're going to get your dies, your stamps and dies. Uh, you're going to get the sentiments in there as well. All of those different paper pads for you as well. £98 or $128 uh, is your price there on that. 107 elements as well. Uh, make sure you grab it. Uh, Sandra says, I've just... Uh, oh, sorry. Um, oh, Cross was Craig, apparently. I've got that. Thank you very much. Uh, Colleen's letting me know that Cross was Craig. Uh, thank you. Uh, just there. <laughs> what has she said? <laughs> ah, so many votes. Uh, sorry, Colleen. Um, right, Cross was Craig. Thank you very much for that. Uh, right, remember, don't forget about that Monday Mega Deal as well. Don't forget as well, it's always good practice to uh, shop the show. At the beginning of every single show, get yourself over to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.au. Uh, click the Shop the Show button. Have a look at all the wonderful things uh, that are coming up in the show, which is fantastic. Uh, right, Fiona, I know we are fast running out of time. Uh, we've yeah. got, I mean, uh, we've got elections and by-elections going on and it's all sorts all kicking off uh, <laughs> here in the show we've got another vote to do as well wow. in about five minutes time on the demo of the show as well uh, poor Colleen uh, over there but I know you've I got something you're, you're not going to be on her Christmas card I list. really am not am you I really I'm not so sorry be uh, I know you've got something you wanted to share with us though uh, for the last sort of 15 minutes of the show yeah. I can well, see you busily preparing over there I was indeed because what I thought I'd do is I'd do the woodland cards now I'm going to use there is some you've seen me using the stamps and the stamps are beautiful but there are stamps and dies combined in there so I thought this is what I'm going to to do this time I'm going to use the woodland bunny which is really good you've got there you've got things like there is no bunny like you um, you could have a good time bunny 
well, I don't know what a good time bunny might be, but there you go. You could have have a hopping birthday, hoppy birthday, all sorts of different ones, and the bunny, and you've got the grass, and you've got the leaves, you've even got the carrot. But on the other side, you've got the dies, and you can see you've got an edgeable die, and that means what you can do, what you can do is you can use the bunny and the die to cut it out. But what I find easiest is to stamp the card first. Do you know, I'm studiously ignoring oh, uh, gosh. what's going You've on the other side. You've tickled us all. I don't know why we've all got them. I am going to call it out because if I start laughing, <laughs> you're going to wonder why. Uh, you are home. indeed. And we're setting you, we've, we've hung you out to dry there. So we'll have, we're, everyone's did. giggling away. And poor old Fiona is an absolute consummate professional, uh, carrying on as if nothing is happening. Yes. Uh, when Nothing's really, happening. it's like swans. All the feet are going beneath the surface. <laughs> um, Cross is out in the lead at the moment with the uh, card of the week. So if you want to change that, you've got two more minutes to get your, get your votes in. Uh, and then we are going to close the voting. Uh, so do okay. be quick. Okay. So I'm going to ink the bunny up. Now, what I've got here is a six by six, roughly, card blank. And halfway down the card, you may just be able to see, I've just got a slight pencil line just running all the way down there. Now that is to enable me to sort of line my bunny up-ish. There we go, that is going to sit there and that is going to pop just there. You can see awesome. really good because this is where the dies come in because the dies you can cut out either the front or the back, entirely up to you. So what you would do is just pop your die adjust on there there we go and that is going to cut out the front of my card so i can have a hoppy little bunny on the front of my card as an edgeable awesome it's such a good idea isn't it i love that idea it really is fabulous we're having a good old kick it's good to laugh you it even is. go to laugh to yoga in india and you just laugh everyone just laughs at each other and apparently they start their morning like it you do a bit of yoga and a bit Brilliant. of laughing sounds like my kind you honestly you'd laugh if you saw me trying to do yoga that would be a whole different kind of therapy <laughs> in its own. Be a whole different therapy in its own. I'm right. Right, voting is closed on your card of the week. I am just double checking. Uh, we're recounting the votes uh, in some parts with Colleen. Uh, and she's going to let me know. Cross it is. Cross is the winner of the card of the week. Let me grab that out of there. It is Craig. Uh, so we'll pop Craig's name onto the back of here as well. And Craig is the winner. He's the first, his first win. He'll be Ooh. absolutely over the moon. So which one? Show me. This one just here was the winner. Oh, that is so pretty, isn't it? It's gorgeous, it? isn't it? That really is it's a lovely It must card. be from that Hunky Dory uh, range. Maybe actually we'll have some of this on our show tomorrow. Maybe. Mm. Do you know, we've got, we've got three different Hunky Dory collections on the show, on the launch party show tomorrow. Be watching because they are absolutely beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. Fiona, did you mind yes. just taking a real quick pause and sharing with us what you've made so far in the show so we can get a vote going on it? Would that be all right? Oh, yes. Okay. No just problem. No I mean, problem. I mean, if I cut it too fine with Colleen, she will... Well, she'll have a go. <laughs> she won't have a okay. go. She's too lovely. So, well, what I can do is I can show you all of the cards I've made and the one I'm making at the minute. Awesome. So, here we go. If that's going to... No, that's not going to stand up. So... Ah. Right, Fabulous. here we go. These are the ones. Whoa, I can't reach. Awesome. Whoa. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm you, standing you stand here because otherwise. So should we, call, should we do them one, two, three, four, five? So the bunny top left one, fox two, B3, Al4, and the other B5. One, yes. two, three, four, five, as they appear on your screen just there. The voting is open. Go. Whoa. Go, go, Poor. go. Poor right. Colleen's going to have no fingers left at this rate, is she? She's going to be worn down to stubs, bless her. <laughs> she likes a challenge, she's letting me know she in does. the uh, comments. That's good. <laughs> right. <laughs> OK, where was I? OK. Let me just move those out of the way. You right see, now. this is where it would be better if we were together, Fiona, you see, because I could have got those ready for you, couldn't I, whilst we were, you know, whilst you were doing yeah. that demo. But, but we're, we're, stay apart. at the moment, we're having to say stuff. There will be a time... Hopefully soon, Can you when imagine? we will all be able to. We maybe will be. Maybe in the summer. Maybe in the oh, summer. Oh, yes, I reckon. That will be nice. Will be lovely. Oh, drinks in the sunshine. That's what I'm thinking about. That would be gorgeous, Lush. wouldn't it? Right, OK. So you can see there is my little bunny cut away there. So what I'm going to do then is just trim. She says, looking for the scissors that she put somewhere 
carefully last time. Yeah, who knows? So I'm just going to trim up the line that I've got there and down to his ear just there. And then we're just going to cut that away. So can you see? There we go. We've got our little bunny who's going to be sticking out the side there. Love now, what it. I'm going to do, how long have we got? Right, what I'm going to do, because I might get a chance to show you some samples. So I am going to fast forward. Only because you've seen me colouring and you know I'm going to use my round board. And do you, do you know I'm going to do the swirling? Do you know what I've just realised? Do you What's remember which, which was which number? <laughs> oh, you do. In the gallery, they've got it. Oh, thank gosh for Good. That. <laughs> <laughs> well done. There we go. So there's the bunny coloured in. You can see just using the greys. I mean, he's such a gorgeous character. And then what I've done to put this together. Now, that vellum. You know that vellum that I said? Look at this. That is that beautiful beautiful vellum you've got one side where the color is quite vivid and on the reverse you've got a more muted color but this vellum would be great for white work as well and the other thing which is really good with this vellum is what's white work fiona right you you normally use it with parchment tools and okay. pricking tools oh, yeah. but you can do a kind of faux white work by running it through an embossing folder right i didn't know that oh i should have done that i should have done that I should have run it through the trellis one. Mm. Oh, yeah, that was maybe, maybe I'll, if we get a chance, I will. Now, the dotty tape pen is the thing for putting vellum into cards because sometimes the challenge with vellum is that the glue will show through. Take a look at using the dotty tape pen. You can't see no, the glue. No, you can't, can you? You can't see the glue. Fantastic. Absolutely Beautiful. fantastic. Yeah, let me show you this thing you cannot see. That's got to be the best ever. So what I've done here is I've used that same die, but I've used the reverse of the die to cut out the back of the bunny. Stop voting is what I'd say. Don't vote anymore on the card of the show. <laughs> Voting is closed. Uh, Colleen is ratifying the vote as we speak. So look, so what I did to cut that out, sorry, I, I want to show you. I used the reverse of the, the back of the bunny. So the way you get that beautiful finish is you use that die on your cardstock and just use the bit of cardstock that you've cut away. Isn't that a clever idea? So then you get that perfect shape around the bunny. Awesome. I yeah. love it. It's absolutely fantastic. And then we'll just finish it off with a hoppy birthday. We have a winner, Fiona. We do, do we? Number two. You're a winner, baby. Uh, oh, that which is the one's winner. That? Number two was the fox on the box. The fox on the, the box. The fox on the box Fantastic. is going into the cabinet of creativity. I'm coming over and taking it from you at arm's length. I haven't written my name on it, Joe. Ooh, I'll pop your name on it, don't you worry. <laughs> What's the date? Oh, it's the first pinch punch, first of the month today, isn't it? Yes. You, can you do that virtually? Well, we'll have to, won't we? We maybe fit, fit uh, pinch. Maybe it could be click bump. It could click be. Click elbow bump. There you go. It could be. There you go. And then we're just going to have three fabulous carrots. Do you know this? I, I do think this is one of those collections which is just going to make you smile. It doesn't matter who you send it to, who you give it to. The joy of actually making with this collection is what it's all about, I think. It really is absolutely stunning. And what we can do when I finish this is I will show you a few more samples from this fantastic, fantastic collection. So there we go. And to finish it off, we've just got a little lovely ribbon, which is going to sit just on there. There we are. There's my How happy birthday How absolutely card. gorgeous is that? It's just... So cute, isn't it? I think that's quite a cute card. And if you've got anybody in your family or in your circle of friends who's mad about bunny rabbits, do you know, I didn't know that bunny rabbits could be indoor pets. Yeah. Well, producer and Laura's got a... And it was to me. Producer Laura has a... Uh, she has a... Uh, called, called a, a 
Bunny called Otis McBumface, if you bun face, not bum face, I say this every time, if you want to follow him on Instagram, he is litter trained. Litter tray really? trained. Really? Yep. Well, I'll go to the foot of my stairs. I never knew <laughs> that. What's your new favourite term, that is? You've used that twice today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a beautiful card. It is a beautiful card from a beautiful, beautiful collection. There's so many beautiful things that you can do with it. Don't miss out on it whilst it's on the best ever price as well. Fiona, we're nearly out of time. Where has the last couple of hours gone? Go on, share a few of those with us. Yeah, because they are too beautiful for us not to look at, aren't they? They are just lovely, aren't they? I mean, I will just do a couple more so that you can see them. I love this because when you're stamping, of course, you can have the owls all in a row if you want. And look again, here's that bunny used on the outside edge of the card as a little hopping onto the card edge mm, isn't that love gorgeous that. um so you can do so much with these you what you will do is you will love them the minute you get them home you are just going to adore them Right. Beautiful, they really, really are. Uh, don't miss out on that collection. I want to whiz through some of the stuff you've seen uh, before we say goodbye. Uh, the Get It Deal, the Crafts Companion Get It Deal of the Week, £23 or $39. You've got foam pads, all purpose glue. Uh, you've also got red liner tape and two types of tape pens in there as well. We've got the illustrators for you on the show too. It's a 36 piece essential box, awesome value, less than two pounds per pen. If you are a platinum member here, uh, and quite an unbelievable price, price really of 50.99 or 81.56, do grab those. Uh, we've got the 72 case marker, uh, for 72 marker carry case for you, I should say. It will fit all of our shorter markers. So our classics, our um, aquas, and our illustrators will all go in there. And then we also had the, Monday Mega Deal. Absolutely, we did. Uh, we need to get Fiona to do every Monday so we can do that. <laughs> oh, tomorrow we've got an Out of This World deal that requires the same kind of voiceover. So there I'm you glad go. you'll be here for that, Fiona, <laughs> uh, as well. Massive thanks uh, to Fiona, of course, for the last couple of hours. It's been a pleasure. Big thanks to you guys at home as well. Don't forget, it's not the end of the day here on Crafters TV. You've got another hour coming up uh, with myself and Fiona uh, as we journey into the craft vault. So you've got an hour uh, to do what you need to do and make sure uh, you join us back here. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye.